Here are some of the strangest and most interesting full immersion VR solutions that I saw. Starting out with the Virtusphere. Yes, this big old thing. Apparently someone already thought of a way of turning my manual treadmill into a 360 design. I admit, it's impressive. The big problem about this ball is momentum. That is to say, it will want to keep spinning in the same direction that it's already spinning. And trying to change directions really fast can have unpleasant consequences. Now, those balls have a stabilizing platform inside them. And if they didn't have those platforms, this kind of stuff would happen. <laughs> and in case you just wondered whether the same thing happens to hamsters, then yes, most certainly. It does. So the ball may be good if you're doing linear runs and very slowly change your direction and speed. You certainly won't be able to do this, and that, and this. You get the idea. I'm sure momentum can be reduced with a better design, but I believe you can only reduce it by so much and there may be inherent limitations to the Virtusphere. Okay, second thing I saw which I thought was pretty cool were these shoes. They work with an MR fluid. It's a fluid which changes its viscosity when subjected to a magnetic field. Obviously, this is not a marketable design, and when I asked the guy if he means to take it to the next level, there was unfortunately no answer. The third invention is a bit out there, it's called Weightless VR. Where do I start? Well, I guess if someone made a game especially for that, it could work and it could be fun. I just don't see that happening. I think this comment summarizes what I think about it best. A $300 baby bouncer. Funny. The cool thing is that this person left all the comments that were making fun of his invention. I really appreciate that in a person, that he can take criticism. It failed the Kickstarter? but I wish the guy luck in his next invention. I saved the best for last. Modern technologies of virtual reality don't have physical senses experience during a game. Except one, the device of the Ukrainian developers which will finally allow you to turn game into reality. The gamer puts on a special outfit with the built-in sensors, which transfer electric impulses to muscles of the player, depending on what is going on in the game. So. The gamer senses real gun recoil, running, jumping, hits, firing from two guns simultaneously, the machine gun, sensing reload and several types of defeat. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Really sense what my character did in the game. Recoil, hits. It's real technology of the future for sure. He clearly invested an enormous amount of work. But before we get to it, I do have a problem with how he presented it. Because in his introduction in Kickstarter, he writes, Now is an unusual time. Fitness is limited worldwide to the quarantine. Okay, that's fine. People have to spend a lot of time at home. Our product, you can play computer games and simultaneously activate muscles. So far, so good. But then this last sentence really got me. Getting the same load 
as the character in the game. No, you're not. You're not gonna get the same load as the character in the game with electrical impulses. You simulate those loads. Simulate is the right term. I get it though. It's the marketing of an emerging startup wannabe. You gotta say bombastic things. And frankly, I like the guy. I like the creativity, the enthusiasm, the ingenuity. I want it to work. But he's up against pretty big players that already made it. The Behaptic suit pretty much covers everything with hands and feet and torso. Now, whether Sergei's electrical pulses are strong enough to emulate gun recoil and stuff, well, that could be. But if an electrical pulse is strong enough to make my arms recoil, I'm not sure I would want to use it. Nevertheless, I wish him the best of luck. Finally, I want to address some comments. I want to thank Griffith Eternity for mentioning the Virtue Sphere and getting me to research it. I also want to thank Nicola for making me research this crazy solution for an omnidirectional treadmill for my other video. And the developers of Silvercord VR Omnidirectional Treadmill left me a comment pointing out that I used the wrong picture for the kind of stuff you need to wear when you're using a slide mill. That's true, that's not the right picture. My bad. You just need to wear something with low friction. They also wanted to mention that you can swim and jump in their treadmill. For the record, I never claimed otherwise, but here you go. And this is the end of this video of reviewing crazy VR solutions. So if you see any more, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you next time.